Welcome back to the Wednesday Hot Stove with Hottie Watney, Ken Rosenthal, Ron Darling, Matt Vaskersian. Uh, you might not have heard the name George Weiner, and we'll tell you why we have George on the phone. Uh, a really neat story. George's uncle, Michael Weiner, of course, the former director of the Major League Baseball Players Association, uh, passed away sadly this past November. And uh, his nephew, George, has been very active with an organization called Voices Against Brain Cancer, which was the disease that, that uh, took his uncle. George is 13 years old, and he's probably done more on behalf of that organization than folks two, three, four times his age and experience in the world. George, good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, tell us about some of the work you're doing here with this organization, Voices Against Brain Cancer. Well, um, for my Mitchell project, I made uh, stickers for a hockey helmet that say, join the fight against brain cancer with the uh, gray ribbon in the middle. And I have been uh, selling them to hockey players around uh, North America at tournaments, uh, over social networks, all that, and donating all the money to Voices Against Brain Cancer. You know, Mitzvah Project, of course, for George, was a, an act of goodwill or good works, and uh, that's a great way to do it. You know what I want to know, George, is uh, uh, you must miss him terribly, but what did your uncle mean to you? Uh, he meant a lot to me. He was, like, the perfect role model. Uh, I want to live my life just in his footsteps, make the world a better place. How much money have you, have you raised for the organization, George? Uh, so far, over $1,800, and then... I donated $1,000 from my bar mitzvah. Ah, that's, that's unbelievable. That's really terrific. You know what I, I'm curious, though? Why have you targeted uh, hockey players? Are, are you a hockey fan? Uh, I play hockey. It's the thing I uh, love to do. I got it. Okay, so you're combining uh, a philanthropic effort with one of your first loves. And you're making the stickers yourself? Uh, yes, I'm making them on a... I found a website called Zazzle.com that lets you design the stickers. So I... Um, it took me a little bit, but I came up with a design to do. It's really neat. You know, George, what I think is really great is that when most people think of a, a, a devastating um, injury or, or diagnosis, they think about uh, treating the injury, they think about uh, awareness maybe in the medical community, but one of the things that's lacking is really compassion for those around someone that's going through something like that, like you and your family. And I know you want to get that word out there, too, to help others that are around people that are suffering. Uh, yeah, well, my Uncle Mike was, a, uh, was very open about his disease. He was, talked about it to the public, so to uh, raise awareness, so I want to do the same thing as him. Give us a prediction for the 2014 season. Michael, I know you live in Jersey. Does that mean you're a Mets fan or a Yankees fan? Yankee. Yeah, that was a dumb question. <laughs> is, it, is it just, is every Jersey kid a Yankee fan? Are there any Mets fans in Jersey? Can I tell you, I don't think so. And I'll tell you the other thing is that, you know, it's strange considering what I do. I do the Mets games. Uh -huh. All of my friends are Yankee fans. So if I'm over their house, they have no problem, no indignation of just putting on Michael K in the game. <laughs> yeah, you can watch it with us. So, so is this going to be a resurgent year for the Yankees, George, before we let you go? Um, I think they're going to do pretty good. Uh, they lost A-Rod, though, so that's pretty tough. But Okay. Well, you know, I think the Yankees have uh, reloaded, and I think you're going to have a happy 2014 baseball season. Listen, George, we appreciate the phone call. We tried to extend this interview as long as we could to get you out of school, <laughs> but we're up against a commercial break. Congratulations on the work you've done on behalf of Voices Against Brain Cancer. Really cool thing you're doing, and keep up the good work. Thank you for getting the word out for me. You got it. Uh, Voices Against Brain Cancer. Look for them online. And George Wiener's probably done more for that group than uh, a lot of folks two, three times his age. You know, what a, a, a great kid. And, you know, I lost a good friend, uh, Gary Carter, to glioblastoma, the mm -hmm. same thing that inflicted Michael Wiener. And uh, uh, they both had the same doctor. Dr. Andrew Lastman was one of the great souls uh, that um, when you're going through something like that, his comfort can mean all the difference. Pretty neat. Pretty neat stuff. We're going to take a quick break.